Welcome back to the beer couch, everybody. Today we got another Tempest uh, Beer Company. Um, what I informed Chris, Tempest Beer Company, Temperance, gee, here I go again. This just turned all over again. <laughs> You're fucking done, dude. <laughs> All right, ready? No. You want me to give you the countdown ready? again? I'm going to give you I'm the ready. I'm going to give you the countdown. Give me the countdown. It's from Evanson. Evanson? Just give me the countdown. Evanton? It's from Evanton. Okay. Ready? Temperance. 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 We have another temperance. Okay. Ready? Here's your countdown. Yeah. Three. Welcome back to the Beer Couch, everybody. Today we have another Temperance Beer Company beer from Evanston, Illinois, called Greenwood Beach Blonde Ale with Pineapple. Extremely excited. It's very humid outside. Looking for that nice little fruit pop. So, yeah. Even, even just a nice refreshing ale. I think it's you know. Looking That's at what it, I think it's going to be extremely refreshing. And uh, thank you to uh, Temperance Beer Company for commenting on the, uh, what was it called, Basement Party? On Basement, Basement Party. Party, yeah. A great beer. Great beer. Thank you for commenting on it. Uh, kind of touched my heart when I saw that. Yeah. Not going to lie. Uh, so we're excited to get into this Greenwood Beach from Temperance. It's about 4%. 4% alcohol. 4%, very light. Good Good beer for uh, for a day bit, today. The hot temperature. Yeah, very humid outside. It was hanging around uh, the low nineties. Yeah, at least for me, and it was extremely humid. Yeah, I mean, uh, low nineties. That's just Illinois for you. If it's not humid, I can deal with low nineties. Yeah, but, you know, it, it was humid. It was, it, it, was it, it was extremely humid. But uh, let's pop into these. Kind of excited about this. It smells really light. But uh, I was excited about this when I saw the pineapple. So I was like, ooh, I could go for a real nice... Uh, pineapple flavor? Yeah. It's, it's got a real refreshing flavor. Or uh, refre refreshing smell to it. Yeah. My head is out of control. Oh, my it's actually God. Not, it's terrible. Guys, is this my first pour of my life? Amateur night over here. Um, wow. You're going to have to fight through the foam on this one. I, I still got, like, this much beer in Yeah, I, I don't care. You're going to have to fight through the foam in the glass. Um, but, um... Nice hazy color to it. Nice hazy, yeah. Um, nice, that hazy golden color. And, uh... It smells Not man. that Chris can see it. It but, smells uh, so good. I don't know if I have enough beer in my glass to be able to see it. It's, I think it smells really nice. It smells really nice. It does. It smells really refreshing. Excited. I would say so we were kind of disappointed with the uh, the last one we did was the one. The the one. The one hundred um, calories taste a hundred. And let's just say this: even if it's hundred calories, you don't have to sacrifice flavor. Which I think they did. Which definitely. happened. Um, I would say even Nothing if against it's one. No, no, no. It's a good starter. It's a good starter. It's a good finisher. If you're, you know. Is it still in your refrigerator? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I have a drink in a single one of those. Uh, I'm going to have to kill those tonight. Because I completely forgot they were in there. But uh, Chris is going to fight through the foam. I'm going to not going to fight through the foam. You know me. And you guys have been watching this for over two years. Uh, you know I do not fight through the foam. Yeah. I wait. He waits. I'm, I'm, pa go I'm a patient, it. patient man. I'm going to fight through what little foam I have. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to go for it because I'm excited. And I'm not going to make a face. I'm not going to tell Chris anything about it. But uh, I'm just going to wait for him. I'll, I'll say... You're going to... Okay, I'm excited. I'll say if I like it or not. Yeah, because that's what you, you screwed up with on one is that you gave me the... Uh, I gave you the face. You were like, oh. oh. And I was, I was like, like... See, at I first... I got a biased judgment on this. Now. At first with one I was like, oh. At first I was like, oh. And I was like, oh. Disappointing. But, uh, yeah. Let's try this. Get my palate a little, a little clean. Good. 
I see that Chris took a drink out of the can. Out of the can? So what do you think? Did you just slurp on the phone? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Um, Didn't mean to, what well, it, it happened. It ta- it, uh, my sip from the can was a little metallic. Okay. But I'm not going to blame temperance on that. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm going to say that it was actually really good. I liked uh, not really good. I uh, I was a because f- the my original taste was a, a lot of metallic. Okay. But I liked the after. I got a bunch of pineapple in my aftertaste, and I liked that. I liked that a lot. <clears throat> I like this. It's really good. It's really good. Um. I want you to taste that out of the glass. See if that metallic. Well, I gotta wait until the foam goes down. Oh, it's not even that bad, bro. Is it? Okay, you know, it's not even that bad. Hey, I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking. God. Amateur night. I'm gonna sneeze and then. uh, You're gonna sneeze and then. What was it, Let? Sneeze burp? A burp sneeze? What was it? Was was that last week? Um, Yeah. No, that was like two weeks. Was, or two weeks ago, because we took a break last week. No, I think that was I think that was like three that was like two videos ago. Well, I don't it, remember, guys. It um, was the one where I tried to edit it out, and then I just got tired of it, and then I was like, "Screw it, just put it in." Uh, I'm not very good at editing videos, if you couldn't tell. Uh, that's why they're. You know, um, I don't know. Um, I really like, this is really good though. You're getting a lot of pineapple aftertaste, right? See, yeah. Okay. But I'm not getting any metallic taste. Yeah, which oh is good. Goodness. I think that was just because I got I had a bunch of foam in the uh, in the can as well. You need you need the nice hazy golden. I think because you messed of the gods. I think because you messed up and I laughed so hard in the beginning of this video that you guys won't see uh, that oh, I no. kind of shook the can. Oh no. They will see it. They, they'll see it? They okay. will see it. Well, I'm know. putting that one in. I'm putting that one in. Um, rookie night. Yeah, yeah you're, you're a rookie night. Oh, it was... I think it was his first time. Um, this is really good, though. I'm enjoying it. Like Chris said, very good pineapple aftertaste. Yeah. Nailed it. Uh, Tasted, though. I want you to taste it before I say anything else. Man, that pineapple. You got that. You got that nice uh, blonde ale yeah. taste at the yeah. beginning. You got that nice blonde, blonde taste, and then that really refreshing, just pineapple. I really. I, I I think this has got to be. There was that other pineapple beer we had. Remember the, what the type name was? I don't. It was with Nick. Uh, that would be why. That was a long time ago. Yeah. We were standing up and it was at the uh, your old place, and uh, oh yeah, yeah. If I could remember what it was called, I would tell you guys. But uh, because it really wouldn't get off the beer couch. I really would not get off the. Uh, no, it w- we didn't have the beer couch. We, she was, yeah, she was sitting at, we were doing it, it was back when we were doing it on the table. Oh, okay. Uh, this is good. This is real good. I, this is a lot better than that one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot, that other one, the, the pineapple taste kind of. Wasn't really there. Wasn't there. It was there, but it wasn't. Yeah, this has got, this is an extremely refreshing this? pineapple. This is actually the first time I taste, the first time I sip this, the aftertaste almost reminded me of uh, pineapple juice for a minute. I was like, because I was like, oh, like the aftertaste hit me. I was like, oh, pineapple. I was like, there it is. I would go with like. But like, it's not pineapple juice aftertaste. 
Definitely not. I would go. It reminds me of. But the the aftertaste reminds me of like how like orange pineapple juices. Yeah. Where like you get a bunch of orange juice and then like it tapers off into pineapple. Uh, that's what this it, is. You get like a bunch of blonde, and then it tapers off. To yeah. Pineapple. It's just it's so good. I I really enjoy this one. This would be a uh, definitely for the summer. This would be a. Uh, this is a good a staple in my fridge. Yeah. Oh yeah. This would be a real good I, I feel going boating. Oh yeah. Boating, fishing. Even yeah. like if you're into I've never been hunting, but like hunting in the okay. summertime and you want to take, you know, some beers into the wine. Yeah. Not that I recommend uh firearms and uh and alcohol. alcoholic beverages. But, you know, I know people do do it. If you want to take it into the deer blind, you know. During the yeah. summer, just a six pack, you know, if it's you and your buddy, just a, just a six pack, just a six pack. And I know because you know, deer hunting, you're most likely not going to shoot anything for a day, you know. You're going to be sitting up. You're going to be sitting there for you know, for 13 hours and not see nothing. But uh, but I would take this fishing most definitely. Yeah, especially on a hot day like this. If I went out fishing, I would take this fishing. Take this fish. Take it out of a nice it. ice cold cooler. Just knock it back. And just especially if it's a slow day. Um, this is really great, and I'm actually savoring it, which is rare. So, what would you put it at? Um, I'm enjoying it. I'm going. I'm going an eight four. Eight four? Yeah. Okay. Um I'm gonna go an eight seven. Eight seven, okay. Eight seven. Score. That's a good I'm gonna score. go a little closer to a nine. Eight seven. Really enjoy this. Um absolutely excellent. Yeah, I think it's really good. I I mean, just absolutely amazing. I love this. I think they nailed it with the blonde ale and the pineapple. It's nice. It doesn't uh what it's kind not of that heavy? Like, now, yeah. Here's a question that just popped in, like, just popped in my mind. Hit me with it. What kind of food would you pair this with? Because it is a blonde ale, but you do get that nice pineapple aftertaste. Well, that's a good question. It's definitely not a dessert beer. It's not. No. Uh, I'm gonna go with. I'm not gonna go with a beefy hamburger mm. or, but like I think like a slider would be good. Like something small. Like a small hamburger. Like maybe. an hors d'oeuvre kind of. <laughs> yeah. Like a sli- <clears throat> a slider hamburger. Not, you know, your White Castle sliders. No, but like... All natural kind of. Uh, a hamburger, you know, in which you can't choose between medium rare. Like there's not enough meat, but there's just enough meat. I think a good hot dog. The Chicago Way poppy seeds relish. Mm. Celery, salt, mustard. Tomato, pickle. tomato, onion, pickle, yeah, and a poppy seed bun. I Some think that fries. would be good. Yeah, um, cover if you cover the hot dog with the fries, that's even better. Yeah, uh, a sandwich. I think it would be pretty good with a sandwich, like a like a lunch meat sandwich. Yeah, and I never said like I wouldn't go. I think like a. I think nice, this would like a turkey sub. Yeah, like a really good turkey sandwich. Yeah, yeah. Turkey sub, maybe turkey some sub. maybe some ham on there. Um, oh yeah, ham Pro. sandwich. Maybe a ham uh, turkey sub with like. But I want to put this with an Italian sub. You would or no? I would not. Wouldn't? Okay. I think you'd have too much, too many clashes. But like a, a turkey sub, uh, I don't know what a sub with ham and turkey would be called. I'm not. A, a, ham and a, turkey. A ham and turkey sub. A ham and turkey sub. Throw it. Throw a ham and turkey sub. Yeah. Ham on top of the turkey or turkey on top of the ham, whatever you You should definitely you, try some to, lettuce, tomato. You definitely go ham, Mustard. turkey, ham, turkey. Ham, turkey, ham, turkey. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not that it makes a difference. It makes a big difference. It makes a big because difference. Because you got to figure out what your mouth is going to first hit. And I think that if you sit... Well, Boom, bite, you're going to try to get that 
flavorful uh, ham. The salty basically. ham. Yeah. And then like the nice mild turkey, and then a nice salty ham again. I'm not going to teach you how to. And then you start getting the mustard, and then the lettuce and the tomato. Not I'm not going to. I don't gonna think you like tomatoes, do you? I tomatoes. I could eat them on a sandwich or a hot dog. Or a do hot you eat dog. Them on hot dog. I do, but I can't. I, I'm much else. I can't. Oh. Uh, it's the texture. But uh, okay. I'm going to just not going to argue with you on this show. Gonna, that's not what this show is Well, about. I'm not going to teach you about food science and you know how how you should eat well, food. I'm not going to teach you on how tomatoes are. I'm not going to teach you on how the vanilla Tootsie Roll is the best. But okay, uh, guys, this is actually really good. Check it out. <laughs> um, oh Jesus. Uh, okay, I think that anyway. I think this is. A, 8-4, uh, 8-7 for me. Very good score. Uh, Greenwood Beach from Temperance Beer Company from Evanston, Illinois. Uh, this was nine ninety nine for a six pack. That's a good price. At Benny's, good price. Um, not telling you what to do, Temperance, but uh, I would probably charge ten ninety nine for this one. I would want stores to charge. I think ten ninety nine would be a fair price for this one. Yeah, I I, I wouldn't mind paying ten ninety nine. Yeah, I, this is I mean, it. that's the first time I'm saying that. I mean, I think nine ninety nine is a great. It's a, great that's a good price. price. It's a great cool. price, but I mean, I mean, I wouldn't mind paying ten ninety nine for it. So, um, that's gonna be it before we get. Start arguing about food, um, um, guys. Check it out. I think it's delicious. Yeah, I think that you could. It pairs pairs well with a lot of your summer foods. Yeah, um, you're not gonna go with extremely meaty, you know, sausage, super savory, super kind of savory foods. Yeah. Go with a, you know your light. I don't know why I'm I'm thinking pretzels would be really good with this too. Like a hot pretzel? No. Or just a regular out of the like bag. out of the bag, Schneider's pretzels. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Yeah. That's, that's gonna be it. it. Yeah, that's it for me as well. So uh, that's it. Temperance Beer Co. What's this called? Greenwood Beach. Lot ale with pineapple. Check it out. Great it is so Temperance. You're for you're two for two. Two for two basement party. Two for was really two. Good. Basement party was awesome. Oh, oh yeah, just behind the camera. I bet. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna acknowledge technical technical difficulties. But that's it. Yeah. All right. Ready? You can say sorry for the technical difficulties, guys. We'll just sign out now. Yeah. Some shy then. Whatever you want. Yeah. You ready? You want yeah. me to count you down? No, you good. Okay, ready. All right, guys. We had some technical difficulties. That's why there's a weird cutoff in the video. But uh, we're going to sign off now. And so we hope y'all stay safe, be safe, and we'll see you guys next week.